Hey, Carrot Ustrauss here with RealAgriculture.com. I am here today at the Western Applied Research Corporation's field day in Scott, Saskatchewan. And I have here with me Kayla Slind, who is the acting <laughs> general manager of Wark. Yes. How's it going today? It's going really good. We've had a great turnout, and um, we're just finishing up our morning session, having lunch, and then we're going back in the out in the afternoon. Absolutely. Okay, so tell me a bit about, you were speaking this morning on the effects of land rolling and kind of some of the trials you've done there. Do you want to do you want to talk about the trials? For sure. So yeah, the trial I talked on was the effect of land rolling on barley, grain, or feed and silage. So we're looking at four treatments unrolled, one to three days after seeding, two to three leaf and first note. And we're just seeing how different land rolling timing affects your yield and your silage. Because we all know why we roll. It's to help get those rocks into the ground to save our equipment and harvest. And then of course, for silage, the lower you can cut, the better your silage is. So yeah, we're just um, this project was funded through ADOPT with the ministry. It's a one-year project um, located here and ECRF. So obviously the year isn't over, but yeah. so far what have you what have you seen so far with the results? So far we actually haven't seen a ton. Uh, I expected to see more at the first node, but it was actually right in between two big rains in June. So I think the rains really kind of helped um, recover it more than we expected. So, so far it's all looking pretty good, which is a good thing, but well, well it all depends on your yield so we'll wait and see yeah and what are some of the other things I guess when it comes to rolling did you find stand was stronger anything like that with some of the earlier rolled stuff yeah um like our two to three leaf rolled stuff it literally like the next day you can even tell we rolled it it just bounced right back up um which is like a lot of research does say two to three leaf is your best time to roll while of course other research says before emergence so it just depends of course on your soil conditions your equipment and um your crop and then the first note, it definitely took a bit longer to stand back up, probably like three or four days, but same thing. Once it stood up, you really couldn't tell. Um, we're going to hopefully take the results of this trial and move forward with it and then look at different crops and also look at disease and um, more factors to see how rolling can affect. And, and how do you plan on expanding this uh, project going forward? Um, this fall, we always do proposals through ADOPT, um, our commodity groups, such as our Sasquatch, Saskatchewan Paul grower, SAS canola, SAS flax. So um, kind of at the end of the year, we take our results and we write new proposals and we submit them and then they accept or don't, don't accept. So yeah, that's kind of our next step. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.